Okay, so I did a little mini tableau offline for Donald Trump, and it seemed like he had a victory over getting some sort of trial pushback. And so I wondered if it was the Jack Smith thing. So I want to do a tableau that focuses on Donald Trump, Jack Smith, and the document case. So I won't do the cards here, the world, the fool in the world, but we'll start with magician. So these cards are dark, so you may not be able to see those. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Fool, the King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So there is the receiving of something by the Fool by, from a man who is also withholding something. With the justice system here, this man also was pushed out in the cold and replaced for a woman who may have also been pushed out in the cold. So I wonder if this is some sort of attorney thing. Because the person of skill and talent was the one that was dishing out something. So I wonder if he has an attorney here that was pushed out that also became a witness to something. Because Five of Pentacles is in House Emperor. So there's a man here that was pushed out. The man here also is in House Empress. So he was replaced by a woman. Justice is in House Hierophant. So the courts are still on track. Because he has some sort of victory when it comes to time. He's going to get something pushed back. And I was wondering if it was this. It does not appear so. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Star. See, he has some sort of futuristic thing here, though. It may be set in place, too. Anyway, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, are some worry and some anxiety, some stress about arrest. Like he thinks another one may be coming, and some sort of new arraignment may be coming his way. He's been twice now. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, because the Four of Swords is my card for incarceration, but you don't serve your full time. So there is some sort of um, new thing here. The Ace of Swords is a new victory. The Ace of Wands is a new action. He's worried about that. And that's coming at a specific date. Will of Fortune, Star and House Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune is time. The star is future. So this is on the way. It's hard to tell when, but this could be going closer to Christmas time. The Star of the Magi was the star that was supposed to tell people or the wise men where Jesus was. And so that would be closer to Christmas time. And so... It could be closer to those months, like a going into, not necessarily winter, but somewhere close to it, like a October, November. Those are closer, I wouldn't say August, September, but um, going closer to Christmas, there is some sort of eventual here. Something else is added to him. There's a new victory, and he's worried about that. This person offered information to someone in the government slash justice system. That's what brought all this other stuff on, too. 
So he just gained new information. The fool and house high priestess holding the secrets, holding information. I wonder if this too is a representation of Walt Nauta. Because if you go here, the Fool, the Four Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Tower, there is someone he's known for some time that is with the Four Swords under arrest, and that relationship blows to pieces with the Tower down here. So I wonder if this person is also this person offering up information. Anyway. The Chariot, the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups. There is also some sort of settlement here or some sort of agreement here because of something that was illegally done because the Two of Cups is in-house devil. Um, Your relationships. This row, I get such an E. Jean Carroll vibe from it. I'm not talking about that. But it, it just, it pulls in that direction. But anyway. Um... Like, I can't move past it now. <laughs> that's, that's all I keep thinking. This is specifically Jack Smith and Donald Trump document case, but this is pulling in that direction. Anyway, put a pin in that. There's that. So, um, the Chariot, the Six of Cups, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. There is some working with someone here. Chariot is teamwork that's also in House Justice. Two of Cups is also a agreement. And it's in House Devil, so that they may be working with someone who has a lot of information, who is also on the hook for something. Six of Cups is Innocence, or Immunity. And then the Six of Swords, because it's in the House Hangman, too. And Six of Swords is in House Death, Change, and also moving forward. Nine of Cups is in House Temperance, so getting what you want at a slow rate, or in cooperation with something. So he could have been getting some stuff for immunity in this row here, or people who have been granted immunity. The Eight of Cups, the Tower, the King of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Lovers. There's someone who abandons you big time, um, Donald Trump, because the Three of Swords is next to the King of Swords, who he also is. And he is in House Moon. Secrets. Mysteries. House High Priestess is where the Fool is. Secrets. Mysteries. Uh, the Three of Swords is Betrayal. It's in House Sun. We're all going to see this, so there's someone that used to be on his side that he pushed out. Five of Cups. Separation. Betrayal. He's going to turn his back on someone. We did a reading to ask if he's going to abandon Waltine, and he will. Um, someone here with the Lover's Card, House Judgment. So they may be in court for something. Also, Judgment. Um, house Judgment is Repetition, something that revives comes back from the dead. So some info. Fool, sword, ace of swords, nine of cups, lovers. Someone may be giving up some goods there. Um, justice, ace of wands, six of swords, tower. There's something new being added to you. I'm going to say it again. I said it's once and it happened and I'm saying it again. So there's something here, a new action, Six of Swords, transition, painful one, and then the tower. It brings some disruption. Tower is in house star. Star is in house will of fortune. Tower in house star means your future is bringing you something explosive. Doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but something explosive. In house tower is the Eight of Cups. There's something, though, that he is going to have a victory over. Something he gets to escape from. So there's one little small thing um, that he has some sort of victory over. It may be testifying. It may be whatever. Trying to get some sort of information from him is not going to work at all, at least right now. Um, 
It could be, you know, plead the fifth against self-incrimination or something, but something is not going to work and it's going to work in his favor. But everything else adds up to the weakening of your allies. So the people who were on your side, Two of Cups and the Lover's President here means those people are not on your side. And then what's in House Lovers? Nine of Swords. You're worried about it. Three of Swords and House Sun means everybody's going to see the individuals who are betraying you. So we're going to know their names, basically. Not see them testify, but we're going to know their names. Because right above the Three of Swords here is the Two of Cups. The people you know and you did business with, bonds, that type of thing. But the justice here, the people in the courts, have a lot of good luck coming their way, especially when it comes to witnesses. Two of Cups, the lovers, and the star. This is, this is on the way, somewhere in the summertime, possibly too. Um, this is on the way. Because the, or the fall, the Will of Fortune is a change of seasons to me too. So we shall see what happens there. Oh, good Lord. <laughs>